miss. Miss the Wii. And Phoebe Cates. I'm not sure whatever yeah. happened to her. But I also miss the Wii. I mean, I was more excited and enthused about that console than any console in a long time. Because when the Wii was good, the Wii was great. And it was different, and it was unique and accessible. It, look, I just miss the Wii, all right? I don't have to justify myself to you people. The problem is, I'm pretty sure I've played everything on that console. Everything good in anyway. Then I found this. I saw it from a distance, calling out like a time traveler, beckoning me to a long past era of glossy white consoles. I grabbed this game and Googled it immediately. Turns out Octomania isn't something you want to Google. Octomom? No, no, no! I meant Octomania for the Nintendo Wii. Octomania. Keep typing after the, after that M. So I know what you're thinking. Well, oh, really, Derek, an Octomom joke? Well, that's a that's a weird way to start this review about a game about weird anime characters. Look, anime is weird, you guys. I mean, at least Octomom's video didn't have octopi, like like tentacles and suction cups. Ugh. No, Derek, that's hentai. That's not even anime. Yeah, and I'm weird. Speaking of which, this is a game about Lom Lom Lompia, a magical land where Carrie the Magician has made it magically rain octopus because she was trying to make a snack. You know, the thing is, I'm telling the truth, and you'd have no idea that's the case. So, to deal with Lon Lonpia's rampant squid problem, you have to rotate them onto these magical fences in groups of numbers that are apparently also imbued with magic because then the squid, they vanish in a puff of smoke. And then you can rotate the other squid into the smoke and they disappear too. You know, the thing is, I'm telling the truth. So listen, I think maybe we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Octomania, look, it's a weird game. I mean, you battle a pig who isn't a pig, but oinks a whole lot, but just he insists he's not a pig. Sure, whatever you say, pig. Still gonna light your ass up with sea urchins, which is how you win. It, it's not a weird porn thing, I promise. Actually, it probably is. L listen, Octomania is a weird game. I don't really want to talk about it anymore. But it's also a fun game, and the cool thing about it, uh, one, is that I'd never even heard of it, which is awesome, because, I mean, nothing feels more 2008 than finding a Wii game I'd never heard of. And two, uh, I think this was a budget title. Is that true? Because if so, this is a pretty damn good budget title. I mean, it, I mean, it's weird. It's definitely weird. Not the kind of game that, you know, aesthetically or thematically I usually get into, but this is a pretty damn good budget title. There's not much to it. Uh, there's a multiplayer option for up to four players. Even had online play, which is crazy. Th look, there were companies that made, like, expensive Wii games that didn't even have online features, so that's awesome. There are a few different ways to play single player, too. There's a bunch of different characters to pick from. So, I mean, for a cheap game, it's a nice little package. Nice little octo package. But that's fun to Google. Yeah! It's about to start! Whoa! Now, I wouldn't put this at the top of the list of Wii puzzle games or anything like that. I'm not insane. Actually, never mind. It's not like it's some must-have title, you know? I was disappointed in the pointer controls especially. I, w I thought that would really work well for this game. Turns out it doesn't. The game's much better with the D-pad. Uh, and, and, you know, the gameplay itself, like the main mechanics here. 
it's fun for what it is, but it does wear thin after a while. There's only so much rotating and counting. There's a lot of counting, you know? And it's not one of those you can sit there for hours because this is so addictive kind of puzzlers. It's more like a, wow, this is sort of interesting kind of thing. And then you move on to better Wii puzzle games. But that's the thing about the Wii. You know, people like to pretend that all those crap games that publishers threw on it were the only games that they threw on it. And that's not true. Game System has an awesome library with lots of hidden gems. And even in 2015, you can still find them beckoning from a distance with, with tentacles and really weird gameplay. It, it's hard to explain, and I don't think I've done a very good job of it, but I'm also very uncomfortable with this entire situation. Thanks to our good pal George from North Brunswick, New Jersey, presenting Octomania for the Nintendo Wii. Octomania. I really miss the Wii. You really had no chance.